Today's show is pre recorded. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all don't know y'all better act. Hat on, hat on, suit on, suit on. Looking like a trap dog. Giving them all. Just like a million bucks, but things in its cup. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell me who could it be? But Steve Harvey. Oh, yeah. Everybody out there listening to me. Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Steve Harvey. Put your hands together. to the voice come on dig me now one and only steve harvey Mm, got a radio show man oh man oh man grateful for it comes with a huge amount of responsibility i didn't really know i was gonna have to be this responsible you know um can i share something with y'all i started out um to finally i had gotten on track and was able to see a way to even uh pursue my dream it has been a long a long trip that I've been on and I've gone through so many phases of it. It It is rewarding along the way to accomplish your dreams. What I'm saying is this, let, let me, let me put it together because I got so much running through my head right now. You know, it's, it's one thing to accomplish your dreams, but there's joy in the process of achieving it. See, some people are so caught up in the goal the final goal that they find no joy, no enjoyment in the process. If you have found what it is you want to do and you strike out on that journey, please understand you are far more blessed than the average person to know what it is you really want to do to find your work in life, your purpose To find out what direction you want to go in is such a blessing. The average person, if you sit down and talk to them, oftentimes don't have their life on track. And it'd be some people that you look at, you think got it going on because of their appearance, their swagger. Oh, they walk like it. They talk like it. They look like it. But if you sit down and talk to uh, the average person, the average person, man, does not know what their purpose is, has not discovered what they want to do and have no idea how to get there. If you are on the other side of that, if you understand your purpose, if you have an idea of what you want to be and you are on your way there, you are truly blessed. And in that blessing, you must recognize it as a blessing. You must recognize the fact that you are on the right side. And that there should be a sense of accomplishment and a feeling of pride in you that you are on track to accomplish your goal. See, what used to happen was sometimes I used to keep my nose so on the grindstone that I wouldn't even look up and realize, man, hey, man, I know you're trying to get here. But, Steve, hold on, man. Can't you see what you've done so far? 
Can't you find just some joy in the process? See, a lot of us lose the joy of the blessings God has given us because we looking at the end talking about I ain't there yet. You on your way. I'm going to give you an example. I had a friend who told me that they wanted to be a millionaire. And they asked me some questions. And I told them. So they started the process. And I am telling you, this dude works extremely hard. So about a year later, we were talking. He had found this business. He had uh, set his goal. And he was working towards it. Then about two years later, I ran up into him again. We were talking about it and everything. He said, man, I really, really appreciate the advice. He said, man, but this is this is it's all jacked up, man, because I still ain't made that million I was talking about. I said, well, hey, man, just, just keep at it. It's coming. He said, man, keep at it. Man, you know how long I've been doing this? Been two years now. And I didn't say that to him, but I said to myself, yeah, two years. He said, man, I've been grinding so long, man, it just... It ain't happening for me. I said, wait a minute, man. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I said, about how much you making right now a year? Man, about 250000 I, I I quit breathing. I said, well, my man, two years ago, you didn't have a clue. Two years later, you making a quarter of a million dollars? I said, man, do you understand how blessed you are? I said, man, your family was about to get put out two years ago. You done bought a house? Yeah, man, but this ain't the house I really want. Whoa, 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 partner. Whoa, I got that. I got that. The house you really want, Mike? Mike call five, eight million. I don't know. But, man, y'all got a house. You making the payments. You driving. You ain't out no more. I said, hold on, man, you got to stop. I said, you got to stop. I said, man, because right now, man, you, you coming across as real ungrateful to me. And so he said, man, why are you tripping like that, man? Man, you act like don't nobody want to have nothing but you. I said, whoa, man, where are you going with this conversation? I said, oh, I didn't come to you. I just came to you and asked you how you doing. And I'm trying to point out to you that the journey that you started on, that you are on your way and you are in the process of accomplishing your goals. And can you not feel some joy and some pleasure in your accomplishment? Quit tripping on the fact that you ain't made a million yet. You on your way. You done went from your, he thought this dude was making $15,000 a year. You making quarter of a million dollars in two years, man. Come on, man. Can't you see? Can't you see? So he said eventually, Ah, man, I kind of see what you're saying, but that ain't about nothing to me because I not ran up into him a year and a half later. How you doing, man? Man, I sure wish I'd appreciated my life when I had it like that. I said, what you mean had it like that? Man, I just fell on some hard times, man. I'm right back where I was. And then we talked. I said, hey, man, don't worry about it. I said, once you know how to accomplish something, I said, you just reapply the same principles and start on over again. Man, you know how hard it is to be to start over? Okay, my man, hold up, partner. You finna do yourself like this again? First, you wasn't grateful for what you had. Now you're looking at the fact that you might have to start over, and you know how hard it is to start over. Maybe God said, okay, you ain't happy with this? Okay, then handle it your way. You obviously ain't happy with the way I'm bringing it into your life. You want to handle it your way? Go ahead and handle it, because he will let you have it your way. Can I tell you that? He will let you do it exactly the way you want to it because he gives us all the power of choice. So then maybe he said, okay, you don't appreciate the way I'm doing it. You don't like the favor I'm showing you. You think it's taking too long. I'm going to let you do it your way. I'm not going to turn my back on you. I'm just going to let you do it your way. Just just say maybe he said that. And now he right back where he was. So what I tried to get the young cat to understand was, man, appreciate your life for what it is. Because like... um. Life Jennings got that song that he got out off this album, I Still Believe. It could have been worse. And now that it is worse, what's on your mind now? Folks, if you are on that side of life where you have figured out what you want to do, you know how you're going to get there and you know your purpose, you're accomplishing what the majority of people never, ever do. So be grateful for your process. Don't tumble yourself. Don't throw yourself off the cliff. It's going to be all right. Success takes a measure of time. It is not easy. If success were easy, everybody would be successful.
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is upon us. The arrival of a new day is here. The Lord has blessed us to come along. We are grateful. We are respectful. And we are ever watchful. I, for one, would like to say that God is in control. And I'm going to let him do it the way he going to do it. I am in be still mode today all the way through Friday. I'm in be still mode. I am just in a position where I just got to let God handle this one. It's bigger than me. So I'm in be still mode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shirley Strawberry. Don't move, Steve. Be still. Good morning. Carla Pharrell. That's right. Peace be still. Good morning. What up, Junior? Oh, uh, blessed and highly favored. Moving in the right direction. Nephew yes. Tommy. Yes, sir. Peace be still. Yes, sir. Wait on it. Wait on mm-hmm. it. Wait on mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Amen. hard to do sometimes. I ain't going to tell you no tell you. Yes. Yes, Because you want to you wanna raise your voice and your hand and do something, yeah. say something, but... You ain't, the Lord you ain't, be taking a long time, though. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Man. He ain't taking a long you time. He's doing it right on time. smited them. <laughs> no, you got to pull. Yes. Right. I mean, I ain't saying like smite as in kill, but you know, like a, a light stroke. You know. Oh, I'll boy. Trip them up a little bit and they like, Are you, you know, right now. Fall down some steps, get your hand ran over by the bus, you know. Now you're waiting. What your on hand is just you. in the street? Yeah. You know, your hand, you know how you break your fall with your hand in the bus, just run over both your wrists? You know, okay, just stuff really? like that. You know, you're not his hand. His, his you. hand. You huh? uh, you're waiting what? on him to bless you, remember? I am. I would just, you you're know, that's why I was saying, that's why I don't do that other stuff. I don't ask <laughs> well, for stuff like well, that. Uh, I get the feeling that you are not one of these people that pray for your enemies. You not. You don't do that. Oh, I'm not at that level of Christianity. <laughs> no, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't know. You're 64 now. Yeah. What do you mean? What they got to do with it? I'm 64. But yeah. Man, <laughs> you talking about that advanced Christianity. Huh? <laughs> Just I'm basic Christianity. You know, basic. <laughs> Christianity 405. That's yeah, no, right. no. Basic is, no, no. Basic is like, you know, stuff like, you know, do unto others as you would have yeah, them do unto you. you know. yeah. Love your enemies. Yeah. Um, no, that, yeah. that's a little, that's, that's a, you getting into advanced now. <laughs> you know, once, not, you, once you, you throw them enemies in there, that's advanced Christianity. <laughs> sure you know, to pray for you. Thou shalt covet yes. thy neighbor's wife. You know, I can stay, I can draw on that when I do that. You know, but, mm-hmm. you know, thou should not kill. That, that's basic. I'm good with that when I ain't got to kill nobody. Yeah. You know, but now, you know, all the oof. You know, <laughs> turn you the know, other cheek. Love, turn, oh, yeah. no, that's advanced. That's way <laughs> up there. <Okay. laughs> You asking him. <laughs> you you, you, you coming right too now. strong that's, now. Hold up. Hold that's up. grad school right You've there. You've been a Christian yeah. all well, you, your that, life. That's PhD right there. <laughs> that's a doctor. All right, listen. I'm still doing 101. Coming up in 32 minutes after the hour, we'll hear from the nephew as he runs that prank back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Our friends at ZipRecruiter conducted a recent survey and found that the top hiring challenge employers face for 2024 is a lack of qualified candidates. But if you're an employer and need to hire, here's good news. ZipRecruiter has smart features that help you find more qualified candidates fast. ZipRecruiter's matching technology quickly shows you top candidates that you can send a personalized invite to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash strawberry. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash S-T-R-A-W-B-E-R-R-Y. Right now, it is time to run that prank back. What you got mm. for us, Neff? What you got? What you but got? I got it for you. I know you do, I spent but... your credit card. I spent your credit mm-hmm. card. Let's go, cat dog. Uh, I'm trying to reach Anthony. Anthony. Uh, Anthony, this is uh, this is Jay Will. I'm the bartender here at the club. 
Yeah, man, I've been calling y'all all week, man, about my card. Yes, yes, I got your card. You actually, uh, you must have left it here Saturday night, is, is that right? Yeah, I, man, look, I left it up there Saturday, man, but I've been calling y'all all week, man, trying to get my card. We don't man. normally come back in until Thursday or Thursday morning. We get the liquor ready uh, for Thursday night, so we're, nobody's actually here. I just yeah, have to be coming. I understand that, man, but y'all run your business, man. Y'all got to get somebody to start answering the phones, man. I, I, need, I need my card. I, right, man, right, well, I, 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 where y'all at right now so I can go pick up my car? Y'all at the club? No, I'm not. I just left the club. Actually, um, I'm actually uh, almost home, but I do have I do have your card with me. Oh wait, wait, wait! You got you got my card with you? Yes, I, I have I have your credit card. Well, why the, why the f you took my card to the house? Well, I, I, I saw all the messages that you left on the machine, so I, I was assuming that uh, if I reached out to you, maybe we could meet up and I could actually help you out and get it to you before Thursday. Yeah, but that's cool, man. But I, I could have just met you at the club. If you, if you saw my card, you should have just called me back. I could have came right over to the club, man. I mean. Okay, well I, I apologize. I got a lot of running around to do, but if you, if you don't mind coming out and picking it up for me here at the house, you know, I, I'd make sure okay. I get it to you. Okay, cool, cool. Well, look, check this out. What's your address, man, so I can just come over there to you right now? I'm going to put it in GPS and run over there. Okay, it's Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Right, All right. Street. All right. Is it? Uh, All right, all right, cool. Well, look, man, you, you there now? Because I can just shoot over there right quick. Man, and I, and I applaud you a little something, man, for taking care of that, man, because I, I, I really need my car, man. I got some urgent business I need to take care of, so i just shoot you a little something when I get over there, and I appreciate it again, man. Okay, well, well, you know, I appreciate you, you know, wanting to slide me something. And since you said that, you know, maybe, uh, you, you know, maybe you don't have to, because I actually, I, I ran into a little jam, man, and and hopefully you you you'll be understandable about it. But I ran into a little jam, and I actually had to, uh, I I I actually had to use your car. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You, you said what? Well, I, you know, I got into a, a little, a little situation, and and I actually had to use your card. You my card. Right. Well, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll be able to to to, to uh, be able to give it back, pay it oh, back to you. Man, you, you know what I'm saying? Use my card. What, hey man, what, 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 hey, what, 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 what the hell y'all got kind of operation y'all got going on over there, man? Use my car for what? I closed my tab out on Saturday night, man. Yeah, you, you closed your tab out, you know, and, and, and like I said, I was going through a little bit of a situation. I needed some gas, so I used it for that, and, yeah. and my little, my little girl needed some uniforms for her school, and I, I, my check hadn't come from the, from the club yet, but as soon as the club, oh, 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 as, as soon as, hey, as, hey, as soon as, hey, 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 hold, hold, slow down, bro. You went, you, you put, you put gas and you, you buy gas. Somebody, somebody tear, tear some clothes on my car. Right, and I had to get my car out of the shop. So I mean, once I come on, your car out the shop, man. Let me tell you something, man. You with my family, man. You with my family money, man. I will you up for that, bro. Don't, I don't play for that, man. I'm gonna tell you what. I tell you what, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to find a police report, man. I'm going to you up, man. You need to have my I phone. Can, I can, I can, Mr. Anthony, just calm down, man. I know it's a no, difficult. Yeah, it don't calm down nothing. But at least, at least, at least. I got a family, man. I got my own kids to take care of. I, but at least I'm telling you what happened. And you're not. I don't give a damn what you're telling me. You should have used my Card. My car should have been at the club where I left it at. I can pay you back in payments, man. Every every week Wait I... Wait a minute. I want my money. I want my car back. I'm going to bust your... That's what, the, that's what it's going to be. Sir, that's what it's going to be. if your car was that important, you wouldn't have left it at the club. Man, I don't give a damn people leave their car all the time. Well, if you wouldn't have been so... You if you wouldn't have... The girl had my car the whole time. Said she was going to save it for me and give it to me. And I signed my thing and she didn't give it to me. If you wouldn't have been so drunk, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have left your car at the club. Hold on, hold on. Nobody... nobody, nobody, nobody up, man. I, I had two drinks, man, but that don't uh, excuse the fact I had some threats and videos I need to leave, but that don't excuse you to use my car, man. I understand that, man, but I'm where, telling you where, I'm where you at right now, man? Where you at? You at this address? I'm, you at this address? I'm at, yes, I am. Yeah, I, I'm on the way over there, man, and I'm, and I'm, I'm telling you what, man, if, I, if you don't have my car and my money when I get there, I'm going to bust your Open. I, I understand. I, can't, I, 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 I had to, it, it took me four hundred dollars to get my car out the shop. Four hundred dollars? Out of my car? Well, no, well, no. It was actually six hundred on your car because I had to get the other stuff that I told you about. But you crazy, you crazy, you 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 done up, you done up. That's what you done. You done, you done really messed up, man. Hey, say, man. That's, hey, look, man. That's my wife. That's me and my wife joint savings account, man. That's for my keys. I got two keys to take care of, man. I don't know what type of game you trying to run, man. But I, I promise you this. I got some for you. I want all my money on my account. And if, if, if any money, if, I'm telling you right now. I swear to God. I've already me. told you that I'd use this money. What do you mean? Is it if it's not there? It's not there. Okay. I've used That's it, cool. Anthony. Hey, but I'm asking you, you to let me put a pay. Let me tell you something. I swear to God, right now. I promise. Woo, I swear. If you. If you, if you, if you don't have my together when I get over there, I'm gonna put my hands on you, man. And I don't know who you think you're playing with, man. I don't play these boy games. I don't. I know. I hope. 
I think this is gonna go. I'm gonna sue the pants off that. I'm gonna sue the black off that. I want my car and I want my money. Real go. If my money ain't back on my car, by the time I get over there, got the cash in my hand, by the time I get over there, we're gonna have a real serious problem. And I'm done talking. Hello? <laughs> hey, you ain't got to call me. I'm already on the way. I swear to God, let, let my money be off my car. Let my not be there. I hope it's not right. Cause I'm a up, man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm telling you right now. I, 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 I put my, I put my right hand to God on my daughter right now. If my money ain't on my car, if the card ain't in my hand, with my money in my hand when I get over there, don't even worry about it. I'm on the way over there. I'll be there in less than ten Some, minutes. I, I want to be honest about this. Somebody actually gave me your car. What? Somebody actually gave me your car. Somebody gave you my car. <laughs> I don't give a damn who gave you the car. But it's, it's your that I'm seeing when I get over there. So that's fine. I hope y'all have fun with the little game y'all play. That's fine. That's, that's cool. Man, I ain't got time to play these Mickey Mouse games with you. The other person has the car. Who the got my car, man? I ain't got time to be running around with y'all. Okay, do you have something you can take his name down so I can take his name down, man? I don't want to know who got my car, man. Okay, the, the guy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, he has your car. The <laughs> Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, you just gotta pray. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. What's the baddest radio show in the land, baby? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Did I do y'all justice? That's all I want. You did. You did. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Hey. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for Ask the CLO, Chief Love Officer Steve Harvey in the building. Here we go. This one is from Anonymous in Charlotte. Anonymous writes, I'm a 32-year-old married woman and I want a divorce badly, but my husband won't give it to me. We've been married for three years and he's already had an affair. He has. He was seen kissing a co-worker in the elevator at work and the security guard at his building goes to my church and told me. My husband tried to downplay it and he said it's not cheating. If he's got nerve enough to do that. I want to leave him before his cheating gets a lot worse. Why would he why won't he let me out of this doomed marriage? What what do you mean let you out? Right. I what can she just go get it for? Go down there and file. Yeah. 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 Just say no you you ain't held hostage. You asking him to sign the papers. You ain't got to do that. Go down there and file. They're gonna get the papers to him. They're gonna bring him right down there to the job in front of the lady. Easy fix right here. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, moving on. You Carol. Ain't divorced. You're talking to the man. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you something. I can't tell you how to win nothing, but mm-hmm. you can damn sure get out listening to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Carol in Mobile says, I'm in my mid 60s and there's a special guy that's been in my life for over 30 years. We dated before I met my husband and I still think about him. I recently found out that he got remarried when my husband and I ran into him and his new wife at dinner. The next day, I jokingly sent him a text saying that I was jealous. His wife saw it and replied that she would be sure to tell my husband that I'm texting her husband if she ever sees him again. My wow. husband will kill me. Should I mention to him this to him first? Mm. Nah. Mm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't start it. That sleeping mm. dogs lie. Yeah. yeah. That's What's what the that chances means. of y'all running up into him again? Hey, that is Little to none. Then. Well, just, I don't know, you know. Gotta take a chance. Y'all, unless y'all all yeah, stay in the same girl. senior citizen's home. You know. Because <laughs> she is in her mid 60s. Yeah, unless y'all all in the same senior citizen's home. Your chance of running into him is slim. I just be quiet. Wouldn't say nothing. Girl, you said she still serious. has his contact. Number. Delete. Yeah. Delete. <laughs> she still delete. has his number. All delete you it. got to do is say, <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't yeah. even have his number. I've never texted him. I don't have his number. And what you you must you got me mixed up with somebody else. Take his phone, I number out your phone, and then that's it. She lying. Yeah. She tripping. Oh. Y'all got what y'all? All this truth. <laughs> it's getting on your nerves. Yeah. <laughs> what is that face about? Are you disgusted with the truth? Yeah, and all this truth. Oh, should I tell <laughs> him? What is she telling the truth for? They say it'll set you free, dog. That's what they say. <laughs> 
Yeah, you gonna ask gonna get a divorce? <laughs> get single with the yeah, truth. and you yeah you had no business texting him anyway. You know that. Yeah, you know you're wrong for mm-hmm. that. So don't mm-hmm. make that mistake. Again. Yeah, uh, whatever. All right, <laughs> moving on. Khadija in New York says, I'm a 47-year-old woman married to a man that I am taking care of. I didn't mind taking care of him because when I met him, he had just won $300,000 on a scratch-off, and he was very generous to me. Well, now that we're broke again, uh, he's waiting for the next big payout. He plays the lottery and goes to casinos hoping to get lucky again. The only problem is that he's gambling with my money. I want him to focus on getting a job, but he said he won't ever work for the man again. Is my husband a lost cause? The man. (laughs) This is crazy right here. They still say the man. The man. Black or exploitation movie or something? (laughs) Man. I ain't going to be nobody's boy. Uh-huh. His plan is the lottery and gambling. Yeah. 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 But Steve, uh-huh. they won $300,000. They blew it all. They're broke again. Yeah, because you know how much of that he spent on some more tickets and at the casino? <laughs> right. He gave it right back to the lottery. Two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you won't work for the man. You should sure be sending the man a lot of your money. Right. <laughs> Who you think owned the lotto? The man. Uh-huh. Who owns the uh-huh. casino? The man. Oh, man. <laughs> you ain't working for him. You playing with him, though. That's for damn sure. Giving him He's all still taking your, your money. money. <laughs> bruh, bruh, that's not a good deal. And uh, his plan is to hit the lotto and to gamble his way back to where he was. 300000 I don't know how long y'all thought that was going to last. Let me explain something to you. One in a billion. All Jesus. out go without no income. Listen hmm. to me. All out go. Uh-huh. Without any more income, come on, equals broke. <laughs> See, yeah. So that three hundred thousand you got—that's why you broke. You you can't you can't just spend it without nothing else coming in. That's not how this works. Sorry. Whew. Thinking about those glory days. <laughs> All right, uh, Jose in uh, Oklahoma says, I've been married for 12 years and I can't stand my wife's sister. She's always flirting with me as if she's a beauty queen and it's disgusting because she has a terrible body and a flat butt. It's so bad that my wife knows she flirts with me and she's not even worried about it. (laughs) The other day, her sister was visiting and she sat on my lap and my wife was sitting right there. I asked my wife why she thought this type of behavior was okay and she just laughed it off. Why is my wife allowing this mess to continue? (laughs) So because it's her sister. He know her sister ain't got nobody. She know that. Uh Uh-huh. She looking at her raggedy <laughs> sister. She know her sister ain't she no home. She thrills. Home. She's just letting her get some cheese. She ain't that. She know her sister. Just let her live. Girl, he just playing with you. She ain't got nobody. Don't nobody want her. Mm-hmm. And that's Why? what it is. What you going to have to do is you going to have to check her. No, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. She ugly, too, now she ugly. <laughs> he didn't say that. <laughs> he just said terrible body and flat butt. No, no. Real no, no. You read, know? Read, your, read your description. Oh, she's not a beauty terrible queen. Terrible If she's a beauty queen. Yeah. See, don't worry about the flat butt. <laughs> she act like she a beauty queen. <laughs> As if she And she got a bad body. <laughs> you see, she blowed and tore up. We gotta go, CLO. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. It's time for Junior's Truth Be Told. I just want to just talk about the links that I know people will go to to get their check. <laughs> The truth of that is no. Let me tell you something about black people. There is nothing we won't do to get our check. We don't leave our money at the job. Somebody we know. And the reason why this came up because Jay had left and his check was sitting up there. And he said, dog, before you walk out that room today, put my check in that drawer. Okay, so I thought about the list that I know black people go to to get their check. I don't care if we at court. Dog, 
I'm in courtroom number seven. <laughs> when you leave that job today, I might be in front of the judge. Walk through that little swivel door, uh -huh. hand me my check. Don't say nothing. I don't, I don't care what level it is. You're going to have to bring me my check. Right. I, look, look here, dog. I'm having surgery at 830. Uh -huh. We in room number three. <laughs> I might be open. I might be under, but place that uh -huh. check in my right two fingers and I'm gonna grip it. <laughs> <laughs> but what I can't do is leave my money That's right. up here at this doggone job. Black people it's want their check, man. Hey, man, they want their check. I'm anesthesia. Yeah, I'm on the anesthesia. But put it between them two fingers because them ones gonna lock. <laughs> but, but bring me my check. When wow, I wake right. up, when I come through in recovery, um, I should have my check in my hand. <laughs> I, I don't care if you, if you at a funeral. Yeah. If I'm up there at the casket at the grave site. No, before you leave that office this Thursday, come by the, come by the graveyard. Put, we in the second family car. Lay my check on the back seat. I'm just sorry. When I come back in, I should see my check. That's wow. all. I don't care what it is. You got to bring us our check. Dog. No, no, no. They want our money. money. They want their money. No, they want their money. I don't care where you go. They're not going to leave it. I don't care where you go. Yeah, where you go? Hey, man, look, man. Look, I'm calling in sick. I'm going on a trail ride. We're in the third wagon. I'll be in the back cooking. Ride your car up next to this horse and bring me my check. There is no way we leaving our check. I'm just sorry. We're not going to do it, That's the absolute truth. You got to get your check. We got to get that check, We got to get paid. There's nothing playing. wrong with that. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. Nothing, nothing. at all. No, I that don't seven. change at no level. No level. <laughs> why y'all don't do Family direct feud, deposit? No. I don't trust I can't direct. do direct I can't, I, I, deposit. They like to see their money. I like no, I already got money. Yeah. Like you can't see. blend it in with nothing, and I don't know if it's there or not. I'm with you. Uh, uh, it blended in. That's a lot of money right I like there. that. Scheme. I like that. 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 I got, see, you can't cheat me out of now, nickel. Mm -hmm. I want to uh -huh. see my check. Yeah. I'll put uh -huh. it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that direct deposit, no. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I'm with you. I you love don't trust going to the bank. Direct yeah. deposit, you don't uh -uh. trust. Has something ever happened before? I don't before? trust nobody I work for. No. Ha has something ever happened before where a check didn't get in or something? Is that why? Uh -uh. No, uh -uh. no, no. It ain't never happened. Can't happen. Well, what if you lose <laughs> the check, the actual physical check? Oh, it where that happen at? <laughs> what, 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 what black I person what? alive? Yeah. Didn't you hear Junior Scooby Doe? Yeah, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you can take a picture I, of it now. I have lost some bank. thirty dollars checks yeah. before. I done lost some wives, but, but I ain't never lost a check. <laughs> <laughs> the amount that on the check, yeah. Uh, no. I lost a ten dollar check. No, I've done that, caller. What? Like, you can take you know, a picture? You can, yeah, you can take a picture and deposit your check. Yeah, you but can But you do know, that. there's a limit to that, though. You oh, what you mean? Oh. Oh, really? Well, some of us can See, that's not my bracket. Yeah. That's not my... There's a, there's a yeah, limit can, on how much you can write on the check. But it's, yeah, I, I can well, click yeah, on that. Can, it, it, it won't take X amount. But wait a minute, mm. Steve. I can't see you either going uh, with your check to the bank, standing in line and going up to the teller to either deposit it or, or cash it either. I can't see that. premium accounts. Yeah. Well, like well don't them big-ass checks eat up all your memory on your phone, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Take, a <picture. laughs> Take a picture of that. Yeah, all your memory gone. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I ain't been to the bank in a long, long time. Only time I went out, they told me they weren't going to give me this loan. Mm -hmm. And I said, ain't no problem. And so I went to the bank. They said, Mr. Harvey, what are you here for? Good morning, sir. Oh, my God. You're so Why fine. Why did you call You're us so and tell sexy. us you were coming? <laughs> You're so sexy. I said, sexy. well, I want to withdraw all my money since y'all don't want to give me the loan. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I was sitting in a room uh, with about 30 people with suits on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Because they didn't oh. want you to withdraw your money. No. So oh, and then I got the loan, too. Oh, I got the loan. Same thing. Oh. <laughs> What's the biggest check you deposited, dog? What's the biggest check you walked in and deposited? Wow. Mm -hmm. What a question. Wow. That's off air conversation. He can't really do it. Yeah, he can't. I can't believe he asked. <laughs> you want, you want just... me to answer that for you? Hell yeah. That's why I am. <laughs> About 38. Mm -hmm.
Go ahead. Come on. Come on. I knew it was coming. Make me look at my life. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I got some growing to do. (laughs) We suck. (laughs) As people. We're losers. As people, we suck. (laughs) I was feeling good about the five. I just put in. (laughs) Dollars. Kill it. (laughs) (laughs) Any more questions from you, nephew? Uh -uh. No, I'm going to let it go. Seems like I touched everybody with my life. <laughs> Way to go, champ. <laughs> I can't believe you asked him that. That's all. I'm sorry. Yeah, we were talking about banking. <laughs> yeah. Man. He always want to know how much. Then he got to get quiet. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now, guys, for another round of Would You Rather. Would mm-hmm. you rather be kissed on the lips or kissed on your neck? During intimacy. Oh, that neck, I can't handle it. I jumped out the window. I can't handle it at all. I can't handle it. I it's can't, too much I, for I, you. I just ain't no good on this neck. I'm telling you, I, I, <laughs> whoo, you want to, you want to stop my performance. You get on that neck. I'm done. I can't do nothing for you. <laughs> well, I'm the direct opposite. Okay. You like the lips. If you open up your mouth, start licking me on my neck, you in for something. <laughs> something come with this- that. I intensifies all efforts. <laughs> Would you rather? I'm talking about, man, everything I'm doing, I start doing harder. <laughs> Dang, Steve. Well, everything <laughs> in me, not on my neck. My body's convulsing and stuff. I'm Most of my actions is involuntary at that point. Well, I'd rather all not. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's keep this party going. <laughs> <with> this <laughs> Yeah, would you, you rather? Doing? Would you rather be financially sa- satisfied all of the time? A. Or would you rather be sexually satisfied? A. A. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay. We can buy that second over sex. Yeah. yeah. We can buy that second. You got enough money. You ain't got to worry about it. It feel good sometimes when you just got money. You ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. True. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm going with that money, man. Yes, sir. Financially set all the time or sexually Uh satisfied all the time? No, no. Like Tommy said, you got enough money, you can buy whatever. You can get sexually satisfied. (laughs) You need them both, guys. No, I don't need them both. No, no. With that money, that money makes me feel like we just finished. It feel way better. Dog. (laughs) Dog. No, that's right, Tommy. (laughs) Dog. All right, so would you rather pose nude, just completely naked for a group of artists, or would you rather wear false lashes, eyelashes I'm, for five days? I'm finna put them lashes on so fly. I ain't lying yeah. to you. What is wrong but with you? But you love Steve? being naked. Yeah, yeah but he But he I don't know, know these artists. He, he knows, Shirley. He knows. He, he, knows he, don't, he don't need to be naked in front of people. <laughs> I got I got two abs. It look weird. I ain't got the other four. No. I don't need to be naked in front of nobody. Nobody Shut but up. the wife. She done seen it from all sides. And I'm a, a naked explaining to y'all what's going on. And then let's just be real, y'all. From the side, do you really want somebody looking at you from the side naked? Thank you. Thank you. Let's be you know, forward straight on, I'm all right. You know, uh, on a scale uh, of one to ten, I'm about a seven. Uh, you know, okay, straight on good. seven. Okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, you yeah. know, for my age, I'm a I'm an eight and a half. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, you look great. Yes, uh-huh. sideways. I can't explain. Ooh. That's a no damn. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. That, that's our round of Would You Rather for today. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, comedians on this show. <laughs> we here. This segment is called Tell Us About That Time You dot, dot, dot. Uh-huh. All right, tell us about that time you cursed really loud in public, but didn't really mean it that time. Oh, I can tell you that one. All right, yeah. come on. Wow. Yeah. So um, we we lived across the street from uh, Benedict College where they played football. If you would line the field with, with lime or whatever, they let you in the game free. So you go over there, line the field, and then hop the fence to come back up. Coming back over, mm-hmm. my mom was on the other side, but I didn't see her. And I yelled out, man, get your MF foot out my MFA. And my mom was... <laughs> Because he was helping me, 
And I was just cussing. I was in free form cussing, man. And my mom was on the other side. I just slid back over on the wall, just stayed over there. She went home, man. She knows your voice. <laughs> right. All right, come on, nephew. Tell us about Let that. Let me see. Time. I got one. I got uh-huh. one. I- oh, it has to be about cussing. No, no we have a lot anything. of them. It could be it anything. Could be oh. You mm. had to go to court. All right, come on, nephew. I know you got one. Tell us about the time you dot 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 cussed whatever you did. I what got a cuss dot dot dot. I, my my pops, my my dad sent me to uh, to drop something off at the church. And I'm walking around the church and looking for the, looking for the pastor, looking for the pastor. I don't see the pastor, and I didn't got frustrated and said, "Where in the blank is pastor?" And right when I said that, I lied to you not. He showed up, but you know what? He came back at me and said, "I'm the blank right here. You ain't gonna be talking. Like, you ain't gonna be talking like that at my church." And, <laughs> so I feel, that's when me and Pastor bonded very well. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> See, I was I was looking at it from this right here. You ever have somebody just come up to you and ask you to tell a story, but the story was just meant for just them, uh-huh. but now they in a group and they want and they come up to you and they go like, "Hey man, Steve, what's up? Hey man, <laughs> that was funny as hell, man." Tell, t- tell them about that time you got caught cheating. Oh, oh, oh. So I look, I said, I said dog, to her, my head just turned sideways. I'm looking at this dude like, hey, tell this. That, that story, that story was just for us. Yeah, what are you talking about? So here's you in front of all these people. I don't even know these damn people. You're talking about some tough, tough, damn boy. What are you talking about? You got, you got caught cheating. <laughs> No, you went off. He need his ass. Up. He need his ass. Up. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> tell us about that time you were playing. Tell us about that time you dot, dot, dot. Mm. What about if you had to go to court? Anybody have to go to court or anything? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I had to sure. Go to had to go to court. <laughs> <laughs> you know he the king of these. These are what, two court what, masters what, right here. Shelly, what? You want divorce? You want crime? <laughs> <laughs> what you want? <laughs> Court. Uh, I went to court. Can share. I talk about this one time? I went to court and uh, I had to give. If anybody doesn't know this, if you get married in the state of California, once you get a divorce, the money that you made, you have to split that. And when I heard that, it didn't register in my mind. It's because I said, okay, I got that. And I didn't figure out the number till I, my ass got outside. I'm like, I'll be damned. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you weren't bitter, were you? <laughs> yeah. That was the start of it. <laughs> I tell you. Come on, Steve. I tell you about master. the time I went to court one time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I just won the settlement for this car accident, $675, that's a lot of money to me. But my car got smashed and I owed like 300, 400 to get the car fixed. And then because of the accident, I had to go to courts. So when I got the settlement check, I got 600 something. And then I got a speeding ticket in a school zone. And when I got to court, they charged me the exact amount of money that I had left. <laughs> Boy, I was sitting there. I went from six seventy five to nothing. God, damn. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Coming up next, the nephew with today's prank phone call right after this. Lord. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's today's Strawberry Letter. The subject is, why won't his wife leave him? We'll get into that a little later. Right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for his nephew? This right here is Johnson's Freedom Papers. Johnson (laughs) Freedom Papers. Yes. Let's go, cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Franklin Franklin Johnson, please. Uh, yeah, this is him. Franklin, uh, how you doing today? My name is uh, my name is Kyle Kyle Green. I'm with the uh, uh, Immigration Department of the State of uh, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, how can I help you? Uh, you were you were born and raised in Tennessee, am I correct? Yeah, born and raised in Tennessee. Okay, now uh, do you do you still live in in the Tennessee area now, or are you in a different state? 
I'm right in Memphis, still here. All my family, all the Johnsons, he's still here, living good. Okay. All right. So here's what's going on. Um, it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee who has the last name of Johnson, um, I, and I don't even know how to break this to you or tell this to you, but it's, it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee, last name Johnson, for some reason, and we're going to fix the problem, but for some reason they're saying no Johnsons are free. You know, like there's some clause or something and some paperwork or whatever. But what we need is we need all the Johnsons to come in by six by six o'clock today, so we can try to take care of the problem. If not, if, if all Johnsons that are not reported in by six will have to get picked up. Uh, I know this is a joke. Like we we've been. I know this is a joke, baby. I'm free. What are you talking about? Like, well, uh, you calling I, I, me talking about? You talking about the Johnsons ain't free? What are you What are you talking about? Since you saw Bumpy Johnson got for the all everybody to check the Johnsons down? Uh, no, sorry. This is this is the real. This is I, I know this is a, a crazy to get a phone call like this, but like I say, it, it, we got some paperwork here. Everybody's scrambling around trying to get to the bottom of this, but. Bottom line is we need all the Johnsons to come in because uh, right right now in the state of Tennessee, no person with the last name of Johnson is free right now. Hey, get the f*** out of here. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you black? Yeah, I'm black, but, but yeah, I, I'm black. Are, 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 are you free? Yeah, I'm free. So what are you talking about coming to me talking about since my last name Johnson, my family got to come down to immigration because we ain't free? Who the hell are you calling me? Talking about some crap like that, man. Okay, sir. The, the, the problem. We're gonna fix the problem, but we need all Johnsons to come in. We're gonna fix it. Who are you the head, of, you the head of the census or something? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you the head of the census? Oh uh, no, I'm not. Or something like that. Like, why are you calling me talking about Johnson? This, it, you are some Uncle Tom ass calling me talking about Johnson that we ain't free, and we got to come down and you you're threatening my family. I'm not threatening you. All right, like I said, my name is Kyle Green. I'm with immigration. I'm just trying to fix the problem. You know, so you I said it to me because your name is Green. So y'all uh, came no. really down to the Johnsons. Sir, I'm not saying I'm better than you because my last name is Green. I'm saying we yeah, have a are, problem. Kyle. You are so saying that, Kyle. Mr. Green, my name is Johnson. We come from a long line of Johnsons. And don't let me have the bumpy Johnson on you because you saw how he was cutting my no, don't play with me. Okay, okay. sir. Can we? Uh, I want to help you, and I want to help all the jobs. Okay. You ain't helping Let's nobody get... but yourself, Mister Green. You Uncle Tom. I saw y'all likes in Django. The house mother. Okay. I bet you on them light skin, green eyed Terrence Howard looking mother. Thank you. Those are good hands. I'm black not, not, and ebony. I got a wide nose, and I'm proud to be black. And they're going to have your lights and ass for me. Come on, bring my, my family down there. You got some guy uh, with nerves. It's all uh, this uh, tribalism amongst us. Uh, sir, can I expect you to come down to immigration at 6 o'clock before like, 6 Kyle sound like a light skin mother. Uh, Kyle Green. Uh, that sound light skin. Uh, uh, sir. Can I get you to come down to immigration by nah, 6 o'clock? No, you cannot have me come down. I'm going to come down there with my god whole, whole bunch of Johnsons, and we're going to turn it up. Okay, so is, 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 is your wife's last name Johnson, too? Don't worry about what my wife's last name is. Don't try to set her up. Okay, is your, is your mother still living? Don't worry about my mama still living. You don't have to. I'm about to hang this guy on up. You question. You, you, you've done crossed the line, you light-skinned mother Okay, okay, sir. All I know is that, you know, we got to, we were trying to get as many Johnsons as we could to come in. Tommy, Tommy is the one that told us to call you. Okay, Franklin, that's who told us to call you. Who? Tommy said you, you probably want to call Franklin Johnson and get him on the line because you know a lot of the other Johnsons and you can get them all to come in. That's what hey, Tommy no, no. said. What you, think I, you think I'm that motherfucker that's going to round up all the Johnsons? That's how they came over from Africa. It was one black motherfucker that got took them all of the boats talking about they was going on vacation, and they came all the way over here. I'm not rounding them no god Johnson. And who the hell is Tommy? Tommy, man. Tommy said you would do it. Tommy said you would be cool with it. I don't know no god Tommy. He sound like him, too. 
Okay, do you know do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know that mother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got my blood pressure. <laughs> Hey, man. Oh, man. Hey, Franklin. Yes. Hey, Franklin, take this out, man. Your boy, J-Rob, is the one that got me the prank phone call, you, man. <laughs> oh, he ain't he ain't allowed over to the barbecues no more, man. Was he a whiskey? Was he was he, was he he drinking some of that whiskey when he called you, man? That mother- I don't know what he was when I called him, bro. But he wanted me to make so he prank Franklin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, you got to tell me this right here, Franklin. Give it to me, baby. Franklin Johnson, you got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show with Nephew Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> really, yes. Tommy? You that, went man. there on him. Oh. Hey, Tommy, but you know what, though? Lights, but Tommy, but green but Tommy, hair, but Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> But tell me, he had you shook up a little bit, though. Cause yeah. he, he sounded yeah. like he had you off balance a little bit because he was serious with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bumpy Johnson when he said Oh, okay. Johnson. Oh, you think I'm going to round up all the Johnsons? I ain't that blankety blank. <laughs> See, you like skin, ain't you? You, you probably one of them light skinned Terrence Howard yeah. looking ass, boy. Green eye. <laughs> boy. Green eye. Boy, With good hair, man. Boy, boy, he was mad. He was hot. Kyle Green. Sound like skin. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, man, is your is your wife last name John? Don't worry about my wife. That's is right. your mother still? Boy. See, man, you don't cross the line now. <laughs> man. <laughs> yes, Tommy, sir. He was gonna come Bowdy. down there and yeah, be he was. Bowed it. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Need right. all the Johnsons uh-huh. to come down so we can get these papers together. But y'all, y'all not free <laughs> yet. Not that life. <laughs> Hold up, man. Yeah. Is you black? Yeah. Oh, so you done got your Uncle Tom ass. Now you gonna round up. Whoa. See, that's you that died. you was on Django. He, yeah. he was, <laughs> right, right, he right. Had yeah. all, he, yeah. all his reference was light skin, Terrence Howard, mm. Django, mm. you a house in, you a Uncle Tom. He had Tommy, he was through with Tied you. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. All right, y'all. March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It is Charlie Goodnight's Raleigh, North Carolina. North Carolina. That is March 1st, 2nd, 3rd. The nephew coming to town, Riley, North Carolina. That is Charlie. Good nights. All right. And then one more funny bone. One more funny bone. That would be uh, March 15th, 16th, and 17th in Richmond, Virginia. The nephew will be at the funny bone. Yes, yes, yes. Tickets are selling so well. Thank you so kindly. <laughs> well, when you tell them stupid coming, they come on out to catch it. Stupid only come around about four, five years. And here it comes. <laughs> Today's Strawberry Letter subject, why won't his wife leave him? We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. That's for you, Jay. It could be your letter. You never know, right? Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the Strawberry Letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, why won't he leave his wife? Why won't his wife leave him? (laughs) What was I thinking? (laughs) Same thing, though, right? Here's Stephen Shirley. (laughs) I'm 44 years old. Reading is fundamental. I know it is, huh? (laughs) I think I'm still in vacation mode. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm 44 years old, divorced and single for 10 years. My husband divorced me because I cheated on him, and the man I cheated with was married, and he's still married. We met at work, and the rest is history. We are still in a relationship, and it's been 10 years now. Our sex life is great, but our relationship has a few challenges. We have a six-year-old son, and he has 
has two children with his wife. His wife has known about us from the beginning due to my husband sending her explicit text messages, hotel receipts, and pictures of us together. She knew about my pregnancy and is aware that her husband spent times with our son, but she will not leave him. He said he's staying because of the kids and she will drag him through the mud if he leaves. I really, truly love this man. He met my parents, my siblings, and all of my friends. Everyone knows he's married, but no one makes a big deal out of it. I had to threaten him with child support to make him step up financially to provide for me and my son. He has put our son on his insurance at work as his third child. Nothing I ever do to this man has made him angry enough to cut ties with me. So I really feel that he loves me. I do want more and have expressed that to him, but he says he has too many obligations at home. I feel like I have a boyfriend and everything is fine until reality sets in and he leaves me to go to his wife and other life. I'm sure his wife knows where I live, but I don't understand why she's never acted out over what I've done. He and I will be connected forever because of our son, but I want him all to myself. I'm getting too old for the back and forth, and he is too. Do I give him an ultimatum or would that be selfish of me? Hmm. Would that be selfish of you? What? I, I think everything <laughs> that you're doing is selfish uh, because all you're thinking about is getting this woman's husband for yourself. You were selfish when you cheated on your husband in the first place. And I, I don't see how you don't see any of this as selfish because it's all selfishness. I mean, now you want him to leave and be with you. That's selfish. Okay. Uh, and he obviously doesn't want to leave his wife. He's he obviously doesn't. He's given you every excuse not to. And more importantly, he doesn't have to at this point. He gets anything he wants from you with the arrangement you already have. And everyone is going along with it. You said he's met your family. He's met your friends and they're cool. Uh, no big deal. His wife has known about your affairs since the beginning. She's still his wife. And no matter what you do to him, you say he won't leave you. You two started this. You made it child and now you have a problem with it the way it is now um well you know too bad because this is a mess and this is what messes look like i mean trust me wifey isn't going anywhere it's called revenge okay it's called a woman scorned it's called spite you think she doesn't know you want her to leave she probably can't stand her cheating husband you know <laughs> didn't you say he sent her explicit pictures hotel receipts of you guys together but she's still not leaving him that should tell you something right there uh so this is what it is and what it's going to be okay you need to stop wishing, stop waiting, stop hoping for him to leave her. It, it's not happening. She's not going to leave him either. The wokest moment you had in this whole entire letter was at the end when you said you're getting too old for this back and forth, and so is he. And, and you're right. You're 44. I say, girl, get your child support like you're doing. Please don't waste any more time on him, though. You need to get your self-respect back. You need to close this chapter of your life. You need to walk away. Stop answering his calls. This is not love. It's not even close. Of course, he needs to pay for, continue to pay for the child and take care of his kid. But other than that, you need to move on with your life. Steve? To me, this whole letter ain't got nothing to do with the dude. Mm -hmm. The whole thing to me is the woman who wrote the letter and what mm -hmm. she's settling for exactly. and what she's accepted. And what she she keeps trying to make a wrong a right, and it it can't work that. this way. Woman, what is wrong with you? Your your moral compass is so far off. You keep trying to get something out of this that don't belong to you. You have nothing here. You forty four year old divorced and single for ten years. Your husband divorced me. My husband divorced me because I cheated on him. And the man I cheated with was married and he's still married. Oh, okay. And you're still cheating. Do, do you understand? You've never corrected any of your mistakes, but you want stuff to write itself for you. 
But you've taken no ownership. Look, everybody make mistakes. So I ain't going to beat you up about the mistakes. But damn, you're supposed to grow from your mistakes, learn from them, ask for forgiveness and move on. You've done none of that. You just keep repeating the same thing over and over, expecting a different results. Don't they say that's the definition of insanity? Yes, Absolutely, Steve. Ain't that what they say? So mm-hmm. when we come back, we'll finish talking to your crazy ass. <laughs> All right, we'll have part two of Steve's response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Subject, why won't his wife leave him? We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter. Subject, why won't his wife leave him? Why? Why won't his wife leave him? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 44 years old, divorced, single for 10 years. Your husband divorced me because my husband divorced me because I cheated on him. And the man that I cheated on him was married and he's still married. We met at work and the rest is history. We are still in a relationship. So you're still cheating. And it's been 10 years now. Our sex life is great, but our relationship has a few challenges. Oh, you mean the fact that he's married? That's the challenge? Okay. We have a six-year-old son, and he has two children with his wife. Oh, you mean his family? Oh, okay. His wife has known about us from the beginning due to my, due to my husband sending her explicit text messages hotels receipts and receipts of us together your husband see i didn't catch that at first I didn't know your either. former I husband sent all this information to your wife when he found out you was cheating on him mm-hmm. with her husband he sent her all the messages the receipts and all the all this stuff she knew about my pregnancy and is aware that her husband spends time with our son But she's not, but she will not leave him. Now, Shirley said it best, and I hadn't thought of this. This is revenge. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in this mess. I'm going to make you wallow in it with me. So I didn't even know that, but women are capable of it. I'm leaving. I'm bouncing. I'm not. (laughs) We're going to do revenge somewhere else. We're not finna sit up in here, but Shirley made a valid point. He said he's staying because of the kids, and she will drag him through the mud if he leaves. Wait a minute. Let me explain something to you. He already in the mud. Hmm. It can't get any muddier. Now she'll tell his job and all this here, but now I, she gonna drag him through the mud. She giving this bad hell. I want you to understand this. Oh, yeah. I really truly love this man. He's met my parents, my siblings, all my friends. Everyone knows he's married, but no one makes a big big deal out of it. You know why they don't make a big deal out of it? Cause you don't. You don't. <laughs> See, you cool with stupid, and they cool with you. So if you cool and stuck on stupid, then we cool being stuck on stupid for you. Whatever. <laughs> that ain't what you, you like. Like Everybody, they don't make no big deal out of it. Lady, I had to threaten him with child support to make him step up financially, provide for me and my son. He has put our son on his insurance at work as his third child. Nothing, now here's the part. Nothing I ever do to this man has made him angry enough to cut ties with me. So I really feel he loves me. Uh-huh. So I know what you did. I'll tell you that in a second. Now, he does love you. You can be in love with two people. But he ain't leaving his wife, though. I do want more, and I have expressed that to him. So, and what he do about it? Not so. <laughs> I, I do want more, and I've expressed that to him. Again, so <laughs> you through expressing? Yeah. I'm finna go home. But he says he has too many obligations at home. And yeah. He does. A wife and two children. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have a boyfriend and everything is fine until the reality sets in and he leaves me to go to his wife and his other life. I'm sure his wife knows where I live, but I don't understand why she's never acted out over what I've done. Let's go back to this to this line right here. Nothing I ever do to this man has made him angry enough to cut ties with me, so I really feel like he loves me. I'm sure his wife knows where I live, but I don't understand why she's never acted out over what I've done. Because you've tried to ruin them, and now she ain't going to let you. Again, going back to what Shirley said, this is revenge. 
Oh, so you gonna ruin me? You ain't finna have him. I just hold on to this raggedy mess before I give you anything. So now you can't win. He and I will be connected forever because of our son, but I want him all to myself. Wait a minute. He has a wife and a family, and you cheated on your family with this man, and you're still cheating with man, this man and his family, and you want him all to yourself. How do you keep thinking something right is going to come out of all this wrong you've been doing for all these years? I'm getting too old for this back and forth, and he is too. He ain't too old for this. (laughs) Do I give him an ultimatum, or would that be selfish of me? Hold on, let me ask you something. What ultimatum you talking about? What you finna threaten him with? I'm a you. Oh, 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 let me see. What, what you gonna do? Oh, you gonna tell his wife about y'all? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you gonna call down on the job and tell him he got a baby out of wear like? You talking about the, the baby that he put on his insurance? Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what ultimatum threat do you have? What if you she ain't says, got I'm nothing. You, Steve. What if she huh? says that? What if she says I'm gonna leave you? <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. She's not. She's really not. <laughs> she done set herself up to stay. Yeah. She going where? With who? Man, this man knows she ain't going nowhere. You have no ultimatum. The best thing you and let me tell you something else, lady. You will never have a man of your own. Mm-hmm. Ever not doing this. Mm-hmm. You have doomed yourself to a lonely life, sister, unless you change your ways. You got to just realize it's a mistake and ask for forgiveness and get up and try again. That's the only thing I got for you. All right. Thank you, Steve. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter. It's Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. Check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, introduce your friend. We got to look into his mind. Ladies and gentlemen. Dark as it is, here it is. Dark. The Today. demented mind of J. Anthony Brown. Today is really dark. Today is, is it? probably my I'm darkest not surprised. Day. No, I am the darkest one on the show by complexion and just attitude. I really am. Why? But it's because of the things I like, the things that bring me joy. That, like, if I see a balloon held by a baby and it float up in the air. Uh-huh. The joy I get from that is just uh, unbelievable. <laughs> just, and just the baby is upset. You, you can't, you, you can't flying? get the balloon. The balloon is unretrievable, and it just flies up and just so happy, so happy with that. <laughs> you are dark. Oh my god! It's if so I'm wrong. driving on the highway and somebody passes me real fast, uh-huh. and then I get up a little further and I see that their ass is pulled over. The joy that I get, the joy that fills my body from that. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm with you oh. on that one, though. Oh, oh just God. little things, just little things, just little things. You know, little like things. if the door closes in somebody's face when I'm on the elevator. Oh my God. Oh, I'm done. I'm so you done. Go to the you, buttons to try you to gotta, open the You got to act like you pushing buttons, and yeah. you got to say, I'm trying to, I'm trying. You got to do all that. You're yeah. not, but uh, you got to uh, say that. But you're really not okay. trying. You're not hey, trying oh. at all. Oh, the joy I get from you're falling, sick. seeing somebody <laughs> fall. There's no age limit. Anybody. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> oh, my God. When you fall. Now, I will help you up. <laughs> I will help you up, but when you fall, oh my God, I'm just Steve, filled. Him. It, it uh-uh. just fills my spirit. It fills my spirit. Yeah, that fills your spirit. Oh. And you know what I like? Spirit. You know, like if we're in the rainy season now, uh-huh. this is uh-huh. so much fun. You see a lot of this. You got to drive around what? and see the bus splash water on people. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> You just, you just, while look you just see that man. little look on the face, like, yeah, yeah, they got you, they got you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and last but not least, you're in the airport. You at your gate, waiting for right. your flight, and you see somebody run to the next gate who has missed their flight. You have. To- <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys, first of all, you gotta you, you gotta laugh inside, but you have to say to that person, you have to to get the full joy out of this. You gotta say, "Did you miss your flight?" You gotta say that. You, 
All right, we'll be back with more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, time now for Comedy Roulette. Jay Anthony Brown, set this thing up, please. It's uh, very simple. You take three subjects, put those subjects on a wheel, spun the wheel where the wheels stop because we're good at this. We'll make uh-huh. it funny. Watch us All do right. what we do. Go ahead. All right. Here are the categories. Mm -hmm. Stupid names people have for their pets. (laughs) Let me finish. (laughs) (laughs) I jumped in there. My bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. Next subject. Things nosy people say when they try to get in your business. And the final category is things Mm -hmm. women say about a man who dumps them. Spin the wheel. Let's go. Spin it. Spin it. Let's see what we do. Knows the people. I like I like the stupid names. Mm-hmm. Oh, pet. I like that one. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Things women say about a man who dumps them. Who's All up right. first? You ready, Jay? I'll go first. Comedy roulette. Things women say about a man who dumps them. He can't handle all this. That's what this is. He can't handle all this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. He can't uh-huh. handle all this. There's no way women handle this. Go ahead, Tom. All right, all right. Things women say after man has done them. I, I was just in it for the money anyway. Okay. So it, uh, I was in it for the money anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead. Comedy <laughs> roulette. Things women say about a man who dumps them. Hmm. Mm. I should have known it wasn't gonna be nothing with them little ass feet and them little tiny hands. Mm. <laughs> go ahead, girl. Mm. Y'all, you Fox. feel me? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Come on, Jay. Right. Comedy roulette <laughs> things women say about a man who dumps him. I was doing him a favor by dating his ugly ass. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, we've all said that, ladies. <laughs> Things women say about a man who dumps them. My mama said he wasn't sugar honey iced tea when I first got him in it. Mm. <laughs> right, mama knows. My best. mama said it. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Things women say about a man who dumps them. Girl, I was tired of holding my breath around his ass anyway. <laughs> Not holding your breath. A garbage ass breath for his girl. I'm so sick of that. I, just... I like it. I like it. Come on, Jake. All right, comedy roulette. Things women say about a man who dumps him. Look at me. I mean, seriously, just look at me. Just mm. take a look at me and then take a look at him. Mm. <laughs> what, what is it, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Jamie. Uh, things women say about a man who does it. He couldn't handle this cooking. No way, baby. He couldn't handle this cooking right here. Okay. Too much. Mm-mm. It was too much. <laughs> too much uh, for you. <laughs> All right, Steve. Things women say about a man who dumps them. What is she saying? I don't know, girl. I guess I was with him. I thought he was... He was just so damn stupid, though. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm talking about <laughs> I love these thoughts. Ah. Ah. Jay. Comedy roulette. Things mm-hmm. women say about a man who dumps it. Girl. Girl, I need more than two minutes. Really. Seriously. Oh. I need more <laughs> than two minutes. Let the truth be told. Yeah, yes. let the truth be told. I need more than two minutes. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Things uh, women say about a man who dumps them. You know what? It's cool. It's cool. I'm finna start hollering at his brother anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right, Steve. You gonna close it out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things, Things women. S- mm-hmm. Go ahead. Women say about a man who dumps them. I ain't like his mama no way. <laughs> That's a good one. I like how to pretend. That's it. That's it right there. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. That's the yeah. one right there. Because I think <laughs> ladies that's listening right now, we have all... We have all said that. And you know what, Paula? We men, what? Uh, we've heard most of these anyway, so that's yeah. why that's why we Yeah, because they just it just rolled off the top of y'all heads. Y'all have heard these things. All right, we'll be back at twenty after the hour. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
All right. So have you, 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 have you joined the Mile High Club? Well, if you're interested now, if you're interested, there's an airline that makes it easier than ever. This airline is called Love Cloud. Don't you love that name? Love okay. Cloud. And it specializes in offering couples the opportunity for some sky high intimacy. Now, for only $995, you get a 45 minute trip on a private plane, which includes a red satin bed that is totally private and separate from the pilot. You also get a signed Mile High Club membership card to commemorate the occasion. Now, if you don't want to have sex at 30,000 feet, you can opt to have a romantic three course meal or get married on the plane. So those are yeah, your options. That's worth it. For how long? Yeah. 45, 45 minutes. minutes. I ain't 45 even minutes. undressed yet. Yeah. But go ahead. That's, well, you better have your clothes unbuttoned when you go up them steps. Because <laughs> we have landed in 45 minutes. You can please understand that. You need to see, you <laughs> I got to see if these sheets is clean. Head, I got a lot when I got to Hey, do. hey, hey. When your ass is heading down the runway, when you're taxiing, you need to be busy. When you head down the runway, you need to be doing something towards this 45. As the plane is going up. Because when we get up to 30, we got to start landing. <laughs> Make it worth your money. Uh, all right. I thank think that's you. a slick idea. That's worth uh, it, man. You know how I many people going to pay that 945 just to be flexing in front on Instagram like they got it going on? Yeah. The Love Cloud is the name of the plane. All right. We'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. We'll do a round of Would You Rather at 33 minutes after, right after. After this, you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now, guys, for another round of Would You Rather. Would you rather be kissed on the lips or kissed on your neck during intimacy? Oh, that neck, I can't handle it. I jumped out the window. I can't handle it at all. <laughs> I can't handle it. I it's can't. too much. I, for you. I just ain't no good on this neck. I'm telling you, I. I <laughs> whoo! You want to you want to stop my performance? You get on that neck. I'm done. I can't do nothing for you. Well, I'm the direct opposite. Okay. You like the lips. If you open up your mouth, start licking me on my neck. You in for something? Did something come with that? I intensifies all efforts. Would you rather? I'm talking about man. Everything I'm doing, I start doing harder. Dang, Steve. Everything in me, not on my neck. My body's convulsing and stuff. I'm most of my actions is involuntary at that point. Yeah, I'd rather all right. not. All right, all right. Let's, let's keep this party going. <laughs> <with> this <laughs> <one>. <laughs> would you rather? Would you rather be financially satisfied all of the time? A. Or would you rather be sexually satisfied? A. A. Uh-uh. Okay, we can buy that sucker. Over sex. Yeah. yeah, we can buy that sucker. You got enough money, you ain't got to worry about it. It feel good sometimes when you just got money. You ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. True. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you right now. Hey, I'm going with that money, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Financially set all the time or sexually satisfied all the time? No, man, no. Please. Like Tommy said, you got enough money, you can buy whatever. You can get sexually satisfied. <laughs> Guys, okay. No, I don't need them both. Mm -mm. Okay. No, no. With that money, that money makes no, no. me feel like we just finished. It feel way better. No, no. No, that's Woo. right, Tommy. No. All right. All right. So, would you rather pose nude, just completely naked, for a group of artists, or would you rather wear false lashes, eyelashes I'm, for five? I often put them lashes on so fly. I ain't yeah. lying to. What is wrong? But you with love Steve? being naked. Yeah, yeah but he. But he I don't know, know these artists. He, he knows, Shirley. He knows. He, knows, he, don't, but... he don't need to be naked in front of people. <laughs> I got I got two abs that look weird. I ain't got the other four. No, I don't need to be naked in front of nobody. Nobody Shut but up. the wife. <laughs> she done seen it from all sides. And I'm a naked explaining to y'all what's going on. <laughs> and then let's just be real, y'all. From the side, do you really want somebody looking at you from the side naked? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you know, Forward straight on, I'm all right. You know, uh -huh. on a scale of one to ten, I'm about a seven. Uh -huh. You know, okay, straight on good. seven. Okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, you yeah. know, for my age, I'm a I'm an eight and a half. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, you look great. Yes, uh -huh. sideways, I can't explain Ooh. that to no damn. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's our round of Would You Rather for today. 
It's coming up next. It is our last break of the day, and we'll have some closing remarks at 49 minutes after from the one and only Steve Harvey right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 